so yeah, you know, if I'm not doing high street, I'll probably be putting more of my energy into figuring out how to use technology to solve some bigger problems we have in, in um, ocean pollution and, and just, you know, a degradation of the ecosystem, right? So... We are about to enter the Halbon rapid fire section. How ready do you feel, Travis, on a scale of zero to 10? <laughs> My God, it's 4.30 in the morning. I guess it's almost five now. So I suppose I'm a bit more ready than I was half an hour ago. So oh, uh, this is going to be very easy for you. We're looking for very quick uh, one sentence or a few word answers. I'll, I'll go with five questions <laughs> to keep it simple. So yeah, let's just begin. You have like a super sick avatar out there and a setup. So if you were to describe that, to, I don't know, like a five-year-old child, how would you describe it? Oh, I mean, like, this is your dream virtual home. Um, and uh, I suppose uh, I'm the angel who can potentially make that happen. <laughs> this is actually from Ready Player Me. I, I really like what those guys are doing as well. So shout out to them. Um, awesome. We we integrated all our digital and, and digital apparels with their avatar. Uh, so that's kind of our first step. Uh, but uh, we are integrating other avatars as well as as well as um, building an engine for you to kind of build your own avatars and launch them in, in High Street. So how would you describe High Street in three words? Yeah, three words. Let's say digital is definitely uh, one thing that comes to mind. I want to say decentralized because we spend a lot of effort making sure our token is decentralized uh, for the holders. In the end, I think it's just uh, a residency because we really want you to stay. Okay, what's your favorite book or podcast that you've been listening to lately? Well, I guess there's a couple. Um, so I do listen to Lex Freeman's podcast a lot and especially recently with his interviews with Sam Altman. Um, I've been a big fan of that. Um, I think... There's just a lot of stuff in Sam Altman's head <laughs> that yeah. uh, you know takes a lot of uh, podcasts to to extract, and and so I'm I'm very grateful for those long sessions. Uh, uh, book wise, completely on the opposite end. Um, I am reading um, the uh, I think it's called Aging and Why We Age, uh, something like that. Uh, by um, David Sinclair. I think that was a really interesting read on longevity. Yeah, definitely look it up. I think it's really interesting um, okay. to um, perspective, at least. Sounds fascinating. All right. So if not High Street and this right now, what would you be doing? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> so I'm very passionate about um, diving and, you know, ocean conservation. So I've been doing that lately, just on my, on my kind of like own time i suppose uh what little i have i've been doing a lot of ocean cleanup diving um just uh, i'm a big free diver and scuba diver so i've been spending a lot of time on the shorelines um i was in the mediterranean for a bit um doing brand stuff so at the same time just you know been doing doing uh, my part i suppose in, in that so yeah you know if i'm not doing high street i'll probably be putting more of my energy into figuring out how to use technology to solve some bigger problems we have in and um, ocean pollution and, and just, you know, a degradation of the ecosystem, right? So hypertonic farming is something I'm thinking about uh, a lot um, or just, you know, sustainable underwater farming in layman terms, I suppose, as well as other things uh, more far-fetched like cetacean communication. I'd always been a big fan of the prospects of interspecies communication. So um, spending my, I think, background with, you know, both computer vision and just a little bit of machine learning on that could be, uh, a good use of time. So that's very different and really interesting as well. Um, on to our very last question of the day. Uh, tell us about something that you learned later in life that you wish you had learned sooner. Oh, so many. I've just been a train wreck when I was younger, I suppose. But um, I think the idea of um, seeing the world as more, more or less uh, connected bits and nodes and being able to understand that everybody is going through life with their own struggles is something that I wish I could internalize better um, when I was younger. It's always sort of like, a, you know, when you're young and, and, and everything is, is sort of new and novel and you're, you're kind of the challenger facing the world. And as gamers, we always look at ourselves as protagonists trying to, you know, fight the world, the PvE type of thing. Um, and I think the ability to empathize really comes with age. Um, and you see 
the various struggles, the various stages that people have and and, and are in in their lives. And I think that um, it gives you an ability to understand them better and to be able to forge better relationships as well as, um, you know, collaborative opportunities. Um, well, that's why we partner with so many projects, right? We, you know, various different stage. People always ask, you know, why do you, you know, why, why are you working with them? Or, um, <laughs> you know, that project is, it, it's, it's so new and so nascent, you know, why do you guys, uh, you know, retweet that? Or there's a lot of questions the community always had for us. Um, and I think at the end of the day is, it doesn't really matter what stage, you know, we have conversations and I think people are doing things that matter and they're passionate about what they're doing and usually they will succeed in the end. So, um, you know, uh, when I was younger, I definitely didn't look at this. It was always a, a very cutthroat world. Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that was, that probably is, is, um, is one thing and also hiring, right? So we, we come from all walks of life at high street and, um, you know, back in the early days, uh, if you look at startup advice and stuff like that, it's always like, you know, you want to hire from, from the good schools, you want to hire from this and that, and it's, you need this degree and that degree in order to raise money. Like, you know, VCs only look at the, the surface, um, sort of like, um, team credentials. Uh, but now, you know, after so long, you realize the, the best people are the ones that have nothing to begin with and really grow up with, with the company and the team. So, um, yeah, that's something that, that I took to heart, um, of late. Yeah, empathy and humility are definitely always uh, one of those most underrated things in life. Uh, well, mm-hmm. Travis, it was absolutely lovely talking to you, and I got to learn a lot more about High Street than I walked into this conversation with. And so to our viewers, if you haven't yet checked them out, definitely go ahead and uh, check out High Street and all the cool stuff they're doing. Thank you again, Travis, for joining us. In. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me.